choreographer Alexei Zeleznyakov has left a Terry Tutbird's group. This is reported by our sport with reference to a source familiar with the situation. Zeleznyakov cooperated with the coach throughout his career in Russia. The specialist was engaged in dance exercises with all her titled students, including Evgenia Medvedeva, Alina Zagatova, Anna Shkrebekova, Alexandra Trusova, Kamila Valiva. It is reported that the parties parted on the initiative of Tutberids. According to TASS, Zeleznyakov stopped conducting classes in the Krustelny department a month ago. Alexei Zeleznyakov confirmed that he left a Terry Tutberids's group. I left on my own. And I have enough work, even too much enough, said Zeleznyakov. Yevgeny Plushenko said that Veronika Delina began to train jumps. Earlier, the skater suffered a shoulder injury, because of which she was unable to perform at the debut stages of the Russian Grand Prix series. It was reported that she plans to perform at the stage in Moscow. The opportunity to overcome yourself is without a doubt the most valuable feature of sport. Veronica has started training in jumping content after a complicated injury. Waiting for the doctors to remove all restrictions in order to fully train and recover ultra sea jumps as quickly as possible, wrote the two-time Olympic champion. Having given her fans a thrilling performance at the Grand Prix in Samara, Ksenia Sinitsina ended this stage with a complete success. Even despite a fractured foot, the skater prepared for the competition in just a week and a half and scored an important victory for herself. Full video of the women's singles performance at the Russian Grand Prix stage in Samara is available on figureskating.org at the link in the description. After the competition, Ksenia came out in front of the journalists not only with a smile on her face, but also with gifts. I'm showing off for first place, the athlete said holding out ice cream to the media representatives. This gesture was to the taste of the journalists, who were delighted with the unexpected sweet gifts. One of the fans, commenting on the photos, jokingly suggested that if this tradition of gifts continues, then by the end of the season Yevgeny Plushenko himself will go in front of the press and give each journalist an apartment. Ksenia herself also did not forget to celebrate her victory. In response to a question about how she will celebrate, she said that she plans to have fun in the hotel pool. Against the backdrop of this cheerful statement, she even joked about the Volga Hotel, where the junior figure skaters were housed, pointing out the presence of cockroaches. Referring to her long-awaited victory, Ksenia emphasized that it was difficult, expressing gratitude to her coaches for their patience and support. She emphasized that although she doesn't have the strongest technical set yet, she tries to compensate for it with emotional expression and good skating. At the end of the interview, she expressed her respect for her competitors, noting that each of them showed their maximum and congratulated them on the completion of the competition. Ksenia emphasized the importance of competing with oneself and encouraged each athlete's desire to improve. Inga Gonkarenko assessed the performances of figure skaters at the Russian Grand Prix stage in Samara. I will note the interesting program of Ksenia Sinitsina, an expressive girl. When a program with an interesting idea, with fine taste is staged, it plays with all the facets, Shusha succeeded, it was pleasant and interesting to watch. It was high quality, good figure skating. Sinitsina came back after the injury, there was not much time for preparation, but she pulled herself together, well done. She is already an experienced athlete. It is very good that we see the realization of this experience, a person owns the skate, the program is rolled out. Dasha Sadkova went to Ultra C, well done, daring, the age for this, but in terms of expressiveness, sense of music, she is still inferior to Ksusha, said the coach. Medvedeva said that Olympic medals do not bring her any emotions now. The figure skater has two silver medals from Pyeongchang 2018 for the individual and team event. Not long ago, a friend came to me, said something about Olympic medals, and I remembered that I had them. But now I realize that it's just an iron. An object with rings on it. In that moment, there was a cognitive dissonance that this particular object was an affirmation of your path. But I realized that's not true at all. My values have changed, my priorities have changed. 
Now there is no joy or sorrow when I hold the medals, I feel nothing. I live in a different era, Evgenia Medvedeva said at the premiere of a documentary about herself. Evgenia Medvedeva spoke about the reasons for her transition to Brian Orser after the 2018 Games. Medvedeva left to Orser from Ateri Tutbarids. In September 2020, she went back again. It was better for everyone. First of all for me. Being in an environment after the Olympics when everyone was saying, if only there were two gold medals. It's a shame you didn't win. It was a constant pressure. At the rink, it also started, we're so sorry. It was impossible to hear it. I said, no, I'm not an Olympic champion, you can say that all you want, but here are two silvers. Why are you saying that? It devalues my rival's victories, and it's unsolicited pity for me, Medvedeva said in the documentary. Trying to placate me, that you are a champion for us, was hitting morally very hard. This is one of the vivid episodes that influenced my decision, but it's clear that there was more than one reason. In my mind, Brian, Orser, was the only one I could have gone to. I was excited to be in a new environment. Was inspired by something new. Different shades of colors emerged. But as an athlete, it was a tough period. I was really banged up in terms of competitive practice. I was so caught up in myself that I saw things that weren't even there, but then I exhaled, looked around and realized it wasn't there. There are a huge number of people who love me. Some of them even start crying when they see me. It was not good for my sporting results, but I grew there as a person, as a human being, the figure skater added. Medvedeva said she has no regrets about the way her sporting fate turned out. Today, on the figure skater's birthday, the premiere of the documentary about her Medvedeva vs Medvedeva took place. I am such a different person already, it was so long ago, so when I am seriously asked whether I regret or not, yes I no longer remember. It was six years ago. Look at me now and look at me at the Olympics. They're two different people. I'm living the life I always dreamed of. I didn't even dream, I had no idea it was possible to live like this. What are you talking about regrets? I have plans for tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, no plans for the past. Shit, that was it. Is that a shame? Yes, it was. Did you cry? Yeah, I cried. But now I don't cry, that's all said two-time world champion and two-time silver medalist of the 2018 Games Evgenia Medvedeva. Evgenia Medvedeva told whether she would have given her child to figure skating. First of all, figure skating was recommended to me as a hardening. First of all, it is useful, secondly, the posture is corrected. Why not? This is my sphere, if something goes wrong, if a child has problems, questions, I can help. I know how to skate like no one else. I love this sport, I've been down this road. It can probably be made easier. We'll see, Medvedeva said.